Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Be careful who you tell your plans to. Plans, goals, um, uh, you know, stuff like that. Be careful who you tell. Uh, but first, before I get into that, uh, if you like the content of this video, you make sure you go ahead and subscribe, and I'll thank you for it. So be careful who you tell your plans to. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, you don't want to go, you know, uttering your mind to everyone and everything. Uh, you want to keep things uh, a secret because everybody does not have their best, your best interest in mind. When I started this trucking business, I went probably about six months, eh, about six, seven months uh, before I let anybody know that I was starting a trucking business. And that was after everything was pretty much finalized. I secured the truck, secured the company, and, you know, I was just waiting on paperwork. Um, so, you know, just, just be careful. Now, what happens is, let's say, um, hypothetical situation. Let's say you tell, let's say you tell Aunt Minky. Aunt Minky, hey, you know, I've been working for this company and I deal with the calculations of, of how much this this guy makes off of me, and I'm gonna go out on my own. Oh, well, that's good. That's good. And they're all excited. Then here comes their fear. Oh well, you know. Uh, uh well, you know, Uncle So and So did that. Uh, uh, back in the '80s, and he didn't he didn't do too good, and he almost lost his house and car, and he got the shirt off his back and everything. Oh, I I don't know about that. So now what what that's doing is that's creative negative energy. What that negative negative energy has the potential to do is define you and stop your progress on your accomplishing your goals. Now that's one aspect of it. Then another aspect of it is let's say Aunt Minky tells uh, somebody else, you know, just a casual conversation. Yeah, you know, so and so called today, and they said they're going to start a trucking business. They did. <laughs> now these these are black folks. Now I don't know. Uh, I'm just speaking to how how my culture would would react. He did. Yeah, yeah. He said he's going to start a trucking company. You remember old so and so uh, started a trucking company back in the '80s or or whenever it was, and. And, yeah, yeah, I remember. Yup, yup, he sure did. And, and he didn't do, yeah, I know. I don't, I, nah, so you don't need that. Trust me, you do not need that. Um, so just be careful who you tell your plans to. Um, so now on the other hand, you know, you do need mentors or uh, you need advice. And... Where I got my advice from was from mechanics. Like two mechanics that I talked to. Oh, they're older guys, not the new ones. Older guys that's used to working on older equipment. Um, you know, and they told me, you know, I was at, I asked a bunch of questions. I have a whole bunch of questions. Like, man, you are persistent, aren't you? So I asked a lot of questions about engines and this and that and how much this costs, how much that costs, and different things, and, um, I'm sorry, y'all, I'm tired, I've been driving, driving all night, and, uh, I talked to other owner-operators, past owner-operators, and they, um, you know, they would share their wisdom with me, um, and they didn't say don't do it, they just said, you know, you have to, you have to be business-minded, you can't go in there with a, uh, a W-2 employee mindset. And that was pretty much the gist of it. Then, even with talking with truck drivers, you have to be careful of who you talk to with them as well. I stopped at a convenience store one day, and I'm sitting there. I was I got a coffee and something else, a bag of chips, I don't know. And guy pulls up, older guy, older cab over, you know, stretched out. Older guy driving it, and you know, I said, oh, "Let me go talk to this dude." So I go over, and start talking to him, and 
uh, red flags went up immediately. He started, you know, uh, talking about the negativity of the trucking. So I rejected, you know, his 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 advice. Um, I waited. I you know I rejected his advice, and you know, in, in my mind, I was like, all right, well, this conversation's done. I thanked him for his time. And said, all right, man, I'll see you later, and went on. So when you talk to somebody, you'll you'll get the you'll get you know five people will say, oh yeah, it's the best thing I ever did, and other five will say. Uh, oh no, you shouldn't do it. You should remain a company driver. But, you know, all these trucks out here, somebody got to own them. But be careful who you tell your plans to. And if you like the content of this video, go ahead and subscribe. And we'll see you out there.